the main cause of this ichthyosis of literally for some of these adults or children, it's almost as if they're mummified in terms of being wrapped in a in a cellophane uh, type of wrapper because their their skin is so thick um, and it is pretty much covering their in many cases their entire body that in fact one of the main risk factors for some of these diseases is heat stroke. Um, so many patients, for example, with lamellar ichthyosis can't go out in the sun. They can't exercise because they can't sweat because their sweat glands are covered by this, this wrapping. Um, and in fact, there are adults and children who in fact died from heat stroke because they couldn't sweat because their skin is in a sense so thick. But the, the underlying cause, as I alluded to earlier, is this overproduction of skin cells. And the way that isotretinoin in our case and uh, topically, and presumably the retinoids in general when they're given systemically, is that it, it tends to cause the overgrowth of the skin cells to slow down or in fact stop. So that in fact, what you see uh, or what we've seen in the phase 2B trial is in fact, um, the normal skin of you and I who don't have these genetic mutations uh, will change over about 28 or 30 days. Our skin is constantly being shed, as we all know, and, and being reproduced. It takes about 28 or 30 days for our entire skin, old skin to be shed and new skin to grow and replace it. Well, on average in our, in our clinical trials so far, the average time that it took for somebody to respond to the drug was 28 days, which in essence tells you that applying our drug, our topical drug, causes uh, that overgrowth of skin that should happen to not happen. And so what you see after 28 days is the shedding of the old diseased skin um, and production of, in essence, what is new normal skin. Um, isotretinoin also tends to reduce inflammation. And uh, because again of this, this overproduction of cells that tends to rev up the inflammatory process, a lot of these patients are quite erythematous or red. Um, it can be because of blood vessels, it can be because of inflammation. And so our hope is, is that by using this treatment that will also reduce some of the inflammation that these patients have. That is in direct difference from the current treatments which basically are symptomatic. They're there to simply strip off the old uh, cells, but they don't do anything to inhibit reproduction of these uh, mutated cells. So things like keratolytics, which are basically there to break down this thick skin and have it shed, let's say with a loofah sponge uh, or emollients, which soften the skin. And again, will symptomatically potentially reduce itch uh, because the skin may be quite dry. All they're really doing is improving uh, the symptoms. They're, they're not really getting at the root of what is causing this overgrowth of cells. Whereas isotretinoin uh, topically, or in fact, any of the oral retinoids um, are, are starting to get to the root um, of what gives the appearance uh, of ichthyosis.